What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to create a zombie eye effect inside Resolve 16 with no plugins required. Let's get into it. Hey, if you guys are new here, my name is Josh Haynes. I'm a freelance filmmaker and I bring out weekly videos and tutorials helping you guys grow as creators. So if you have not already, click that subscribe button down below and tag along. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do this creepy zombie eye effect that I did inside Resolve 16. Maybe you've got a horror film coming up that you need to change someone's eye. Maybe they drank some bad milk, who knows? But it's a really cool effect and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's jump inside Resolve 16 and we'll go from there. So if I zoom in here, you can actually see I've got a fusion clip with a couple sound effects and a color grade on top to really sell this effect and drive it home. Let's recreate this and I'm gonna show you how I did it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is grab the video clip that I used. I'm gonna bring it over here so we have a completely new shot. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna zoom this in because I wanted it really freaking close. So let me kind of align this where I think looks good. Now the next step that I recommend is actually creating a fusion clip. And I'm gonna show you the two reasons why for this specific effect you should be doing this. I'm gonna show you by this one, I'm gonna right click on it. I'm gonna make a new fusion clip and in this one it is just a normal clip if we hop into the fusion tab with this one you can see that it doesn't crop the video clip like i did in the edit tab but if we jump back into the edit tab and we go into the fusion one you can actually see it keeps all the crop that i did in the edit tab it makes it way easier doing this visual effect and you're not going to have a problem later trying to resize things i just recommend doing this step it's way easier I'm gonna bring both of these guys over here out of the way. I'm gonna drag it out. We're gonna get this probably right about there. We're gonna hit on media one. We're gonna hit shift spacebar and we are gonna look for a planar tracker. Right there, we're gonna add this. I am not going to track where my eye is opening because I want it to start happening after my eye has been open. I'm gonna start drawing around my eye. This doesn't have to be perfect, but of course, the more time you take, you will always get a better result. We're gonna go over here into the inspector tools. We're gonna to change the tracker to hybrid point. I am going to set a frame and I am gonna let it go and track my eye. And hopefully everything goes really well and we have no problems. We can see that it tracked my eye beautifully and the tracker doesn't start until the point that I set it at 23 frames right here. And that's where I want it to go. We're gonna click off of this. We're gonna add a merge node right here. We're gonna drop that right there. We're also gonna add a background and connect the background to the merge and the merge to the tracker. Again, all this stuff can be found by hitting shift space bar and just pulling it up that way. I just like to click the little shortcuts they have right under the video clip. With the planar tracker selected, we're gonna go up here under operation mode. We're gonna change it from track to corner pin. And you can see that it brings our background on top. We're just gonna make this be big enough to cover my eye. If you're having a hard time figuring out where it goes, you can always click on the background and you could drag the alpha all the way down. We'll just do it like that so I can see. Click back on the tracker, kind of just resize everything to make it look nice and tidy. I do recommend giving yourself a little bit more room around the eye and I'll explain that here in just a little bit. Now with that background selected, we're gonna turn back up the alpha channel and we're gonna find a color we like. We're just gonna go with kind of a weird orangish yellow something unnatural i think that looks pretty good with the background selected we're going to click right here and we're going to add a b spline or again you can hit shift spacebar and attach it that way with the spline selected i am going to make sure my cursor is selected and i am just going to kind of draw a shape that i think is pretty close to my eye That should be pretty good. If you need to, you can move these after you've drawn that to kind of get a way better presentation of where the eye goes. You can add more points, kind of just fine tune it. I get it just pretty dang close, but again, the same thing, the better you make it look at the beginning, a way better result you're gonna get at the end of this. 
With the planer tracker selected, we're gonna go right here to the corner pin one. We're gonna go under apply mode and we're gonna change it to something we like. You have screen, you have multiply, you have overlay, color dodge. You have a whole bunch of different things. Darken to me on this effect seemed to be the best result. Now you can see that it's bleeding a lot through the eye. So if you want to, you can click back on the spline and you can move it and kind of fine tune it just a little bit. After you've decided the shape and you like the way it looks, we can hop back into the spline and we can actually soften up the edges right here. If you go too far, you're gonna to start to cut out of that box you had, which is why I said on the tracker, make sure that box is way bigger than it should be. If it's too small, you're going to start to have a problem and see a hard line cut. So back inside the spline, we can change the softness. We can actually change the border width and make it wider. And here you can see if I make it too soft, it's starting to hit that box around it. I recommend softening it just a little bit, but not too much because then it starts to bleed outside the eye or it starts coming in too close if you change the border width to be smaller. I would just spend some time and fine tune how you like the look of it. If you're happy with that, we play it through, make sure everything looks good. And I think that looks really good. I'm happy with that, so I'm gonna hold down and I'm gonna highlight all four of these nodes, hit Command C, Command V to copy it, hold down Shift and the mouse to drop it in, do it one more time, Command V, bring it up here, hold Shift, drop it down, let it go. I'm gonna uncheck that real quick so I don't get confused and have too many things overlaying it, making it darker. I'm gonna click the spline and I'm gonna delete it off of this one right here. I'm gonna go into the background and I'm gonna change this one to a kind of a red, maybe a little bit darker. That looks pretty good. Maybe bring that, lighten it up just a little bit. With the background selected, I'm actually gonna add an ellipse right on top of it instead of a spline. And in here, we're gonna actually make it smaller drag it over, kind of size it up to cover up the iris, kind of move it over and cover up the center of my eye, soften the edges a little bit. You can see because we copy and pasted it, we have all the same tracking information and all the things that are inside the eye. We're just changing the shape now of what we're cutting out. So it makes it way easier just copying and pasting that stuff. I'm happy with that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click back on the tracker and we're gonna go right to the beginning where this is. We're gonna click on the spline and we're actually going to turn the level all the way down. And we're gonna drop a keyframe right there. We're gonna go over, let's say 10 frames and we're gonna turn this up. You can also dial it back down a little bit if it's coming on a little too strong and you've tweaked things. Right here in the level would be how you would do it. So we're gonna turn it right about there, should be fine. And now you can see when we start playing through, the eye starts turning yellow, which is what I want. We're gonna click on the ellipse and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna turn the level all the way down, drop a keyframe. We're gonna go over right here. We're gonna turn it back up, just like that. And now if we play it through, we can see the eye starts changing and looking weird. If you want to have the center of the eye change before the yellow, you could change the keyframes and have the yellow come in later. That's just completely up to you and taste and the style you're going for. Now the last step we're gonna do is create that center black just fading into the pupil of my eye. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do these last couple nodes right here. We're gonna attach the merge to the tracker, which you can see it is the exact same tracking information, the exact same color. All that stuff is transferred over because we copied and pasted it. The only difference is, is I don't have any lips on top of it or a spline or anything cutting it out. But all that information is still attached to that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add an ellipse to this and we're gonna click on the background and we're gonna change this to a black. We're gonna click back on the ellipse right here and I'm gonna bring the level down just so I can see everything. I'm gonna bring it right there. I'm gonna size this down, get it really close to the center of my eye double check by messing with my levels just to see. I'm gonna turn the border width all the way down and I'm gonna bring some softening up a little bit. I'm gonna get right to where I think looks good. I think that should be good right there. I'm gonna make sure my level is turned all the way up. 
I'm gonna add a keyframe on my border width with it turned all the way down. I'm gonna scroll over to probably, let's say 54 frames is fine. And I'm gonna turn the border width up like that. I don't wanna to go too far because then you start to have a hole in the center and that's not what we're going for. Play that through just to see how that looks. That looks pretty good. The reason I use the border width instead of the levels on this one is because you can see the border width kind of makes it look like it's bleeding into my eye. Compared to the level, it doesn't quite have the same effect. So now if we play it through, you can see that it slowly starts bleeding into the rest of the eye, and I think that looks absolutely awesome. You can do the same thing blacking an eye out. You can do the same thing having the eye white out. You don't need those other stack of nodes down. If you're just doing a simple blackout, you just need the first stack of nodes, and that's it. Just have it be black. The only thing is you gotta make sure your blending is not too high around the eye or it's bleeding off, because the darker colors you pick, the more specific you really have to be. That offset yellow or pale colors you really don't notice it so much but when you get to the darker tones you really start to see if it's not lined up perfectly if you do this effect tag me on Instagram or Twitter I would love to see it I'd love to check it out if you like this video give me a thumbs up drop a comment below hit that subscribe button if you haven't already with the bell notification on so you don't miss any of my new videos I'm the iron giant you guys are amazing I'm out <laughs>